Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Angry Gorilla Sports Network. My name is Josh Luce, the Angry Gorilla, and today we've got episode four of Chopping Wood for you. We've got nine holes at the Holmes Golf Course here in Lincoln, Nebraska. Uh, it is an 18-hole course, but the front nine was being reseeded, so uh, it was only the back today. Uh, played uh, okay, <laughs> or at least in parts I played okay. But it was a tough day. Um, you can see right off the bat, I've made a made a change. I've actually uh, taken my brassy out of the bag, and I'm using a what's called a driving cleek, uh, which is it is a 15 degree one iron essentially is what it is. Um, I can hit it okay. Uh, I like the feel of it so far, uh, but what you're gonna, you're gonna see real quick that the theme of this one is, uh, going right a lot. Um, it just, it was kinda, kinda one of those days. It was a little blustery. Um, it, I mean, it was a nice day, but the wind was blowing and, a lot of times when the wind's blowing like that and you've got a case of the rights, it's it's a bad combination. And that that definitely showed up today. Um, so here's number 11. It's a little dog leg to the left. It plays a lot longer than 387 yards, though. Um, it's way uphill, um, as you can kind of see. Now, the drive here itself wasn't too bad. Uh, it landed on the right side of the of the fairway, but it kicked very hard to the right. Um, and this one, I just didn't correct for the for the stance. It went pretty much right where I hit it. Um, do have a couple new clubs uh, in the bag again. The the driving cleek, but I also have an actual one iron uh, that's uh, I believe a twenty degree loft. Uh, that I use a few times uh, playing out of the fairway with it. Uh, and then I also have a new um, a new niblick uh, that's a little bit heavier than the one I was using previously. Uh, it does need a little bit of work. The head's just a touch loose on it, so I've got to get that fixed. Uh, but So, you know, a couple changes here, but overall working on getting used to, uh, used to the equipment. Um, the putting, <laughs> putting today was not great. Uh, but honestly, I didn't give myself a lot of very good chances. And I'm not sure if it's because I was going too fast and I was playing by myself, um, or really what the issue was. Um, because I'd, I'd hit a couple good shots here and there, um, and then, then I'd really just implode, um, like this one, for instance, distance was fine. I ended up actually past the hole, um, but just way right again. Um, and I landed that this green is really tough. It is back to front slope all the way. I landed this about 10 feet short of the flag, um, and it just kept rolling. Uh, it, it, they... There are these greens on this course. There are not a lot of easy greens. Um, they are they are tricky, at least in my in my estimation, because uh, you've got a lot of slants, a lot of slopes, in a lot of cases. Now you know that in and of itself is not just you know not anything out of the ordinary, but it, um, there there are not a lot of flat spots to complement them. Um, so it's it's pretty tough. Um, this is a fun little par four. It's kind of up and down a hill, dog leg to the right. Uh, hit this. Uh, wasn't the longest drive in the world, but I did get it into the fairway. Uh, went okay. Uh, hit a pretty okay second shot. Again, it was right, and you know there again, uh, story of the story of the round. Uh, the is here though. You're. Uh, going to see some spectacular camera work because, uh, yeah, I thought I could see it from there, uh, and, uh, I saw nothing on the green. Ah, 
Ah, back with you here. Um, moving on now to 14, uh, a little par 3, just straight forward. Um, I, <laughs> the, I thought that the wind was going to help me out. The wind was pretty much dead behind me, so I used a club less, and I shouldn't have. So I ended up just a little bit short, uh, pitched it up, um, and did okay. Uh, the ground was really soft. It had rained couple days before, and that spot right behind me was really, really wet. Um, I actually moved my ball out of there because there was no way that I was going to even be able to stand uh, without sinking pretty substantially into some mud, so I'm, I'm not that dedicated. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, snuck away here uh, with a par, at least. Um, my lag putting today was bad. It was just bad. My distances were, were all sorts of way off. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, here's one of my two better drives. This one is a sneaky tough par four. Um, you, and I say that because you, you see the, yes, there's water to the right, but if you play left, it should not be that hard. It just seems to play longer than what it actually is. Um, you know, it is a little bit uphill. I don't know. It's just, I've never played this hole particularly well. Uh, this is actually, that chip right there is after I muffed one. I hit it so bad. <laughs> uh, and it, it just did not go well. Uh, so I'm here in four now. Uh, and I'm still... you know, I don't know, probably 20 feet away, maybe, give or take. And I left it short again, uh, another trend for today. Um, and I lipped this one out, so I ended up three putting. Uh, so I, I did myself no favors today. Um, let's move on to 16. 16's kind of a gimmicky little par four. It's got trees that overhang the fairway right towards the end, right in front of the green. Um, and had you seen a, my drive there, it would have been fairly nice, but instead you come up and comes up with my second where I had to take it over the trees. Um, ended up a little bit short. I think I caught a branch I didn't wasn't able to see, but it left me with a view of the green. Um, I chipped it on short of the green, but this is a really nasty green. This is my least favorite green on the course. It, three tiers, uh, lower in the front, all the upper and back, and the the pin placement was really kind of right on the very front of the upper tier. I thought I needed to hit it a lot further, which is why I blew it completely by. Uh, and then I just missed that comebacker. So, you know, back-to-back -back three putts, doing great. And then I about fall over because I can't pick my ball up. So, you know, doing good there so far. Um, 17, on the other hand, is, is a kind of a fun little, little uh, hole because it gives you a couple of options. Now, with modern clubs, you can probably attack the green. It's not that long of a hole. Hickories, you don't really have that option. So um, I did hit my one iron, uh, just like a normal. Went a little bit right, but I left myself in great shape, and I, I pitched it right up on the green. So I'm like, okay, i got to actually have a pretty reasonable chance for birdie. Um, and you're going to see yet another putt come up short. Never leave a birdie putt short, folks. Bad, bad, bad. But, you know, hey, it is what it is, right? So I'm not getting paid to do it. Um, now, here comes... This is a tough hole. Tough hole to close on. Uh, it's 435, 31 yards from the white tees where I was at, and it plays every bit of it. It is a long way uphill. Um, ended up in the, in the fairway with the drive. Um, second shot ended up just off of the right side of the fairway in the rough. Uh, muffed another chip, and now here I am. Um, Coming up to uh, to the green, and we're gonna get uh, get right to the end here, and you're gonna see um, see coming up kind of where the uh, where the score went, and it was <laughs> it was just it was really not pretty. So 
Um, you know, that's all for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. We'll be back next time and hope to see you there.